on Saturday, uh, 17th November, delegates representing constituencies, regional executives from around the country, and some of us, former appointees who are members of the National Executive Committee and other categories of persons that are eligible to vote, will converge at the trade fair site to elect what we expect to be a new set of executives who will lead NDC into the 2020 elections. It's a very critical election, and we are pleading with delegates to look beyond all kinds of gifts and monies that may be offered them by any number of delegates, and to look at those who will work hard to uphold the values of the NDC, the values of probity, integrity, and accountability, which many party executives have not spoken about for years. In spite of being in office for a cumulative 16 years, since 1993, NDC branches, NDC constituencies around the country do not have proper meeting places. Many meet under trees, many meet in old school buildings, some meet in kiosks, in marketplaces, in containers, on the verandas of some executives who may have their own homes, and in many, many instances, even under trees, and sometimes in, in, in churches and other places of worship. The time has come for the NDC to take hold of itself and to develop the proper foundations of a serious party here in Ghana, a party founded on social democracy, a party founded on social justice, a party founded on transparency and integrity must ensure that funds that are allocated in large quantities, in millions of cities, millions of dollars, for elections are properly accounted for. It is a, an embarrassment for any party within a month of its losing an election to claim that it has no money. It cannot put the light on at its own party headquarters and it can't pay the bills of many of its field offices, including even those who worked as polling agents and helped to manage and support the arrangements around the 2016 election. Many have asked what happened to the collation of NDC's own results from 2016. Where is the spirit of accountability? Everyone is giving up, everybody is pointing fingers in the wrong direction. So delegates, it's up to you. You have to elect a bunch of fresh, committed, loyal, determined and capable officers, men and women, ready to uphold the values of NDC, ready to go to battle, political battle with the NPP in 2020 and to wrestle power back from them. We shall be with you in the, the voting halls. We shall be looking forward to interacting with you informally around the, the grounds of the, the conference. And above all, let us also look to all decisions that the party may take that will strengthen and revitalize its constitution, its structures, and hope that these structures will work. So that never again shall it be said that NDC went into an election and most of the committees that were announced never worked or worked in a dysfunctional manner and parallel organizations sprang out from all over the place reportedly took the monies that should have been allocated to party structures, leading to the failure of the party in the 2016 election. Let us put 2016 behind us. Let us move forward to 2020 in the, with the spirit of potential success, of victory, based on unity, based on good leadership, and based on solid organization, and based on better messages and sound communication practices. Thank you.